Welcome guys, this is how to create consistent character for your story. So for this particular story, I have three characters that I'm using in this story. So this first character, her name is called Ada. This second character, his name is called Chinedu. And the third character here, her name is called Ngozi. So I'm creating consistent character all through my story for these three characters. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough on how you will create consistent character using the same face, using the same hairstyle, the same um, clothes style in your story so that you can have a good storytelling on any video that you are creating. So for you to get the most out of this video, you need to pay attention and watch this video to the very end and take into details everything I'm about to explain in this video. And all the tools you will be using in this video, they are completely free as of the time of recording this video. So first, you need to have your story ready. I've done so many videos on this channel talking about how to write your story so let's say this is my story and this is a, a is a six page story so what we are going to do we are going to use only the first um, page of this story to demonstrate this so i'm going to copy this first um, page so what you are going to do copy your uh, story like this so i'm going to copy this story now i'll head over to chat gpt and from chat gpt i'll paste in this story then i'll tell chat gpt to um, give me the names of all the characters in this story. So this is my story. Now we are going to ask ChatGPT, enter this prompt. Please give me the names of all the characters in this story. So guys, if you are coming across my video for the first time or you are coming back to watch my video, please do well to like my video and drop any comment under this video to help this channel grow. That is the only thing you can do for me. So now I'm asking ChatGPT, please give me the names of all the characters in this story. Now I'm going to send this and let's see the response from ChatGPT. We have this response from ChatGPT. So the characters in this story are Ada, the protagonist, a beautiful and caring woman who feels betrayed by her husband then china do ada's husband then we have ngozi a young girl living in the same compound as ada and china do okay with whom china do is secretly involved now these are the characters involved in this story now we need to go ahead and ask charge gpt to create an ai image prompt for each of these characters okay so now this is what i'm going to be typing so i'll say please create an ai image text prompt for each of the characters so now we need to include their age so we are saying for ada so we can say she is 25 years old then we can say for um chinedu so we can say he is um, 28 years old then we can say for ngozi so let's say she is 22 years old now we'll go ahead and tell Jack chat gpt that we are trying to maintain a, cons a consistent character so this is what i've gotten so we are telling chat gpt please create an ai image text prompt for each of the characters for ada she is 25 years old for china do is 28 years old ngozi she is 22 years old please i'm trying to maintain consistency all through the story now let's send this and from what we have here, you can see ChatGPT is, is giving us the text prompt for the, each of these characters. Don't go anywhere. We are not done yet. Okay. Now, for Ada, um, she's 25 years old. So he said a young Nigerian woman with long, shiny black hair and big, bright eyes. Her complexion is smooth and glowing with a hint of sadness in her expression. She wears a simple yet elegant pattern Ankara dress sitting inside a modest home with neatly arranged furniture. The lightning is soft, alighting our youthful features and reflective mood. So these are this. So what we are going to do now is so we are going to copy the text prompt for each for all these characters. So let's copy this. And now we are going to go to our Microsoft text editor. So where we can paste this prompt. <coughs> so now we have pasted this prompt. So another thing you need to do, we need to do some editing to this prompt. So you yourself, you can change the color of clothes that um they are wearing so for ada i want her to wear um wears a simple yet um elegant pattern so for her clothes i want to i want her to wear green pattern ankara dress all right so this is for ada then we are doing for chinedu so for chinedu i want him to wear um a young nigerian man with a sturdy build and kind of expressive eyes is this and that so he's wearing um in a simple yet tidy short sleeve shirt and trousers so you can give a color of the shirt and the color of the trousers to have consistency in your image a bit yet tidy um so let's say white 
white short sleeve shirt and um, let's say black for the trouser he will be wearing black trousers okay all right we have done that for um, chinedu so let's go ahead and do it for ngozi so for ngozi i want him i want her to wear with a colorful ribbon she's soft delicate and that so i want dress in a vibrant fitted a vibrant fitted so for her i, I want her to wear yellow ankara so we are giving the color so let me <clears throat> Let me quickly explain what I'm doing here. So, what helps us to maintain consistency is one, the age, the age of the uh, person, then um, the nationality that she's a Nigerian woman. Then another thing here is the hairstyle she is um, wearing. Then another thing is um, the the shape of her face, whether a rounded face or anything like that. Then another thing is the clothes that she is wearing, the color of the clothes or the type of clothes that she that they are wearing. Those are the things that help us maintain consistency in our characters. Now let's go ahead and create the air image for this character. Then I'm going to show you when they are performing different actions. Then we are going to see if their faces is still going to be the same. Now let's go ahead and create the image for Ada. So I'm going to create this image for Ada now. So let's copy the Ada prompt. For the image creation, I'll be using Im um, Google Image, F image Effects. If you need the link to this website, then let me know in the comment section and I will send the link to this website to you. So we'll go to this website. When you open it up like this, accessing using the link that I will send to you if you comment under this video. Then when you go to this website, you are going to paste in the prompt that we have just copied. But wait, we need to add some other things to this um, prompt. Now, if you come down here, you are going to see what is called um, this thing that you see more here. So if I click on more, I can add some of these things to my uh, prompt. So for this, I want to add high contrast. Then I also want to add, we'll click on more again. So I want to add realistic. So I want to add natural light. I want to add highly detailed. So those are the things I want to add. So you can see what I've added. I've added high contrast. You can simply type this out yourself. High contrast, realistic, natural light highly detailed so i've added that so i'm going to copy this so let's go okay i've um, added this now let's go ahead to create our image so i'm going to click on create here but first before i click on create i'll come down here and uncheck this so this is not locked down so now let's cl let's click on create the sweet thing is that this website is accessible on your mobile phone. So I'm using my laptop to record my screen so that it's going to be easier for me to demonstrate this to you. And after some few seconds, I have my image ready. So if I open this image, let's take a look at this image. So you can see her face here. Yeah? If I click on the second image, you can see the images are the same. The faces are the same. The hairstyle, everything is the same. And the image is perfect. It's very real. Okay? On, just like human skin. So you can see the images. They are the same face and everything is the same consistent. Now, let me... Uh, we can move forward to make it more consistent so that when we bring in our next prompt, we are going to have the same image and the same hairstyle. Now, let's go down here. So, if you come down here, you will see settings. So, click on settings and from here, you can see what is called seed. So, this is seed. So, this helps you um, have a consistent um, character that's consistent face and all that. So, for us to um, go ahead to have a consistent face and all that, we need to um, click on this lock to lock it so now we have locked it so um when we bring in our next prompt we are going to have the same face but first um let me download these images so that um i can make use of these images later now let's go ahead and bring in our next prompt so uh, the next prompt now is going to be um ngozi performing an action and for us to do that let's go over to our script and we are going to create our next prompt for our next image so um from the begin from the um side of our script here is saying that <coughs> We said in a small village in Nigeria, there lived a beautiful woman named Ada. Ada had long this and that. Then he said that she was married to a man, to a man named Chinedu for 10 years. So we want to create her an image showcasing um, Ada um, standing with Chinedu. So we are going to copy. She was married. She was married um, to Ada for Chinedu. Um, she was married 
to a man named Chinedu for 10 years. Ada love Chinedu very much. So we want to create an image for that. So we'll copy that. Then we'll go over to chat GPT. So we are going to tell chat, chat GPT, please give us an image prompt for this. Okay. So now we are telling chat GPT, please give me an image text prompt for this. So this is it. So we'll send it and let's see the outcome of this. So this is the image prompt. So it's saying a lovely couple, Ada and Chinedu, standing together in front of a modest Nigerian home. Ada, so you can see, it's, it's bringing in the age of Ada and her hairstyle and everything she she's um, that, that will help us to maintain consistency. Now let's copy this. Let's copy this prompt. So we'll copy this from and now we'll go to our text editor. So we'll come down here. You can go ahead to start generating that um, image. We need to do some adjustment to it. So now we'll paste in the prompt here. So this is saying a lovely couple Ada this and uh, wearing long this. So we want to change the color of our her dress from the from our own main prompt prompt here. So Ada a twenty dash a young Nigerian this. So we are going to copy this our uh, prompt um, up to. Uh, image and order so we'll copy this so now we'll come down here so where we see Ada a 25 years old um, woman so we are going to copy so we are going to highlight this and paste in that our uh, own prompt so now we have Ada a, a 25 years old young Nigerian woman with long shiny black hair and big bright eyes her complexion is smooth and glowing with a hint of sadness in her expression, she wears a yet elegant green pattern Ankara dress. So now we need to remove the hint of sadness because she is not sad here again. So let's remove this. Alright, so we have this. We are going to do the same thing with Chinedu. So Chinedu uh, looks at Chinedu. Chinedu a 28-year-old a uh, man with a study hair so we are need to we need to go here from the chinedu prompt that we have already so we need to add chinedu so we need to copy his own prompt from what we have so remember i told you um, what helps our image to have that consistency is the age and the nationality which is the nigerian man then and the trouser chinedu is wearing so where we see chinedu we need to replace it with his own main prompt that we have already created so we need to replace that here um chinedu so we need to replace that now let's go ahead and copy this entire prompt and then we'll go ahead to create our image and let's see if we are going to have this same face and order so now let's go to image effects and let's highlight only this place so we are leaving the high contrast and all this so that will remain in all our images now let's paste this here so we have um, the other prompt now we'll click on generate and let's see the outcome of this image okay guys so we have our image here if this video is too fast you can slow down the video and rewatch the video again so you can see this the face of ada here okay you can see her face here and if you see um if you go ahead to the second image see the face of ada if you see this other image also you can see the um, uh, original image you can see that the faces are the same okay you can see the face of Ada here now you can also see the face of Ada then this is our original image and you can see that their faces are the same okay now let me click click on create again and let's see if you are going to have um, the same outcome with the same face on this so from here again you can see our face again is the same so you can see now we have consistent images so if you are doing this what you are going to be doing if um, different action you are going to copy um, the main prompt that is the basic prompt which is the main prompt of the character then when you get um, your, your um, next prompt you are going to just copy the main prompt of the character describing who the character is then infusing that into the um the your next prompt that you're about to create the next action of this character so um by doing this you are going to have consistent character or you all through your story if this video was too fast then you can go back and rewatch the video again until you understand it it's not just by watching the video but also putting this into practice yourself and you are going to get better as you keep creating your video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video